Hello. Good morning. Yeah, so this is a, a follow-up to Slight, uh, Sylvester Stallone and Judge Dredd. Uh, when we got to the set for the first day, uh, we on when you do extra work, it, everyone uh, you you sit about for ages and ages and ages while they set up the shots, and so most of your time is spent drinking coffee or tea and biscuits and uh, chatting or bullshitting to the other act, to the other extras, should I say? But the uh, and it's really interesting talking to professional extras because they give you all the insights of what the actors are like. And there were some great stories from these. Uh, this was in England, so mo all of the extras were English. And some of them had been in a lot of films. And if they t so they tell you that if you can, if you get martial arts, for example, uh, and this, I think there's about four things like horse riding, martial arts, so, and a few other things. And that's when you start to get better jobs and better pay in the uh, in the in the world of uh, extras. Uh, I didn't know anyone who became famous, but I did see one guy. He was a Londoner, and he was a blonde, chubby-looking guy with like angelic face. And he was on uh, uh, an episode of Minder. He popped his head out of the floor. He'd like dropped a piano from the third floor and then his head popped out like a comic relief effect. And he told me he was also on a crime watch when he was flown up to Scotland because he looked like a rapist <laughs> who they were looking for up there. And so it was great listening to these guys. And uh, Stallone was uh, like also on, the, also on the set, of course, and when he had downtime between shots, he would talk to the, uh, to the extras. And one of the extras was actually a Scottish world champion bottle of lightweight. I can't remember his name now. I could maybe search it out later. And he got a big scar across his face. And he was uh, talking to uh, Stallone. And, he, and Stallone was very interested in boxing, not just for Rocky, but he was like trying to find up-and-coming uh, boxers. And I think he was doing a show at the time, or, or he did it later, about up-and-coming boxers. Now, I was... I was uh, like I said, because I would think I was short, because a lot of the extras were tall, you know, about five, ten, six foot, and I was like one of the shorter ones, apart. Uh, and so they asked me to stand in front of Stallone. Now Stallone was maybe an inch or two bigger than me, but I think he got special shoes on. So you got these special uh, boots on that are probably inside inside lifts, and so I was chosen to walk in front of him. But when he was talking to the uh, when he was talking to the extras, he was a really nice guy. He was really cool, and he was patient and talking to everyone. And, and t you know, uh, like I say, it was like I said, nice guy. But once when we were in the uh, we were in the mock-up spaceship or the the uh, transporter that got with all the prisoners in. So that's why we originally got picked because we looked like criminals. Me and my friend, we were, like got short hair. We just looked like thugs or criminals, and so we could easily get the part. And so we were on this mock-up when, it, well, but you couldn't see me at that one because I was in the you know, I was in the uh, near corner uh, when they did that scene. And there was this one kid, one extra, and St Stallone was ready to take. Well, we were like sitting between shots. There was Stallone and the uh, the guy from Saturday Night Live, Rob Schneider. And there was this guy, and he was on the back seat, facing Stallone in his face, like asking all these questions, you know, like it was a, a club outing or something like that on, on the coach when you were kids. And like Stallone, he just he he just kept on. He didn't like shout someone say like get this idiot out of the way. He just answered all the questions politely, you know. And so I got to take me, me hat off to him. He, he was a cool guy, and I actually I would wanted to get past him. And the words wouldn't even come out of my mouth. I wouldn't say, oh, excuse me. I couldn't even say excuse me to, uh, uh, to Stallone to ask him to move. But, but if, uh, if you ever get the chance, the pay was about £75 a day. And we did a night shoot at Battersea Park. Uh, and that was about £120. So, uh, it, but like I said, the most interesting thing apart from probably seeing Stallone and a big star, was uh, like listening to the, uh, the extras and their stories. So if you ever get the chance, 
if you ever get the chance to do it i will recommend it so anyway that's uh, this story hope you enjoyed it okay thanks bye bye